Hello, this is Eloisa with Math Leopard. Today, I'm going to cover how to construct a pentagram using a compass and straight edge, whether or not it's hyphenated. To begin, let's draw a circle. The circle is very important, as all regular polygons have their vertices on the circumference of a circle. Place your compass at any point on the circumference of the circle, and check that it has the same radius as before by intersecting the center of our circle with the pencil. Now draw a second circle through the center of the first. The intersection of the two circles is known as the vesica Pisces, seen here in green. Let's draw a vertical and a horizontal line through the center of the vesica Pisces and then indicate the point where they intersect. This point is the center of a circle whose diameter is that of our initial circle's radius. We place our compass point on the pink dot and open the compass to where either one of the pink dots on the vesica lie. Then draw the inscribed circle, seen here in gold. Where the circumference of our original circle intersects the horizontal through the vesica, seen here in red, is where we next place our compass point. We then open the compass to about two-thirds of the diameter of the original circle and draw an arc, emphasizing the arc above and beneath the circle. We then keep the compass on the same setting and do the same on the opposite side of the circle. Where the two sets of arcs intersect above and below the circle, now perfectly bisect our original circle. We draw the line through the arcs and then note where that line intersects the bottom of the original circle, seen here in red. Draw a line from the red dot through the center of the circle inside the vesica Pisces, making sure to intersect its circumference twice. Let's mark these intersections in pink. Placing the point of the compass back down at the red dot, where the circle bisector meets the circumference on the bottom, we then open the compass to the width of the farther pink dot and draw an arc at that radius through both sides of the original circle. We then do the same with the closer pink dot, drawing an arc so that it, too, intersects the original circle twice. Now let's highlight the four positions where the two arcs intersect the circle, as well as the intersection of the bisector and the top of the circle, seen here in orange. Erasing all of our construction marks, save for the original circle, we can see clearly how the pentagram is formed by connecting every other dot until arriving back at the original. Et voila, a perfect pentagram. Both the circle and the pentagram will come into play as we explore the five Chinese elements and their relationships to one of another via this very diagram. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to be updated when new videos are posted.